Hey folks, Zach here. This is a setup tutorial for the product LL Face Control. Um, I'm going to do a separate video for the features of this product, which are numerous and it's a little bit more advanced. This is just for the setup, so let's just get into this real quick. It should be only about five minutes or so. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have a folder that says something like LL Face Control. Double click it. Um, come over here to the assets fol folder, oops, excuse me, the demo folder, and double click this overview. Okay. Um, and you should come to a scene similar to this. I'll have some instructions behind this mannequin by the time you're actually looking at this scene. It'll be a reminder of what you need to do in order to get this set up. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Just a few things. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Edit, go to Plugins, type in AR Kit, and you're going to want to enable AR, Apple AR Kit, Apple AR Kit Face Support. Um, those two are required for the Live Link face to work correctly. Um, the second thing you're going to want to do is get a MetaHuman. My pack does not come with a MetaHuman. Uh, you do not want it to come with a MetaHuman. It increases the size file size significantly and if you're using this a lot you're going to be downloading this quite a bit. Um, at the moment you just request a MetaHuman from Epic and they should give you access and you should have something similar to this Quixel bridge and um, your MetaHumans that, that you saved and created. Here's one that I created his name is Cooper I'm just going to click this export button because he's all downloaded and ready we're only using the 1K resolution because um, it's the fastest thing. So I'm going to come over here. That's done. I have my MetaHumans folder. Um, second thing, or actually the third thing we're going to want to do is go into our Assets folder and our Blueprints folder. And you should have something that says LL Face Control Animation Blueprint. Double click it. It will pop up and say it could not find the skeleton for this blueprint. Would you like to choose a new one? Say yes. And you're going to choose the um, face arc type skeleton um, and say retarget or click retarget. That's done. Um, now this step I don't think is necessary for it to work, but I like to do it anyway. Double click your LL face control animation blueprint. and. Um, over here on the right, it may not actually have it selected or it may have selected face archetype skeleton. Make sure the, the face mesh is selected for your metahuman. Apply to asset, click this save button, and you are done. Okay, so come back over to the main directory for the LL face control. We're just going to set up this blueprint and then we're done. Double click it, it comes up say file reparent blueprint it's going to be bp underscore something in my case it's bp underscore cooper for the metahuman main uh, blueprint so select that it's going to come up with this saying it may cause data loss do i want to continue reparenting and then i select reparent okay so then what you're going to want to do is come over here to this functions section here and we're going to select override we're going to select override the AR kit setup so select that it should create a function down here and it should be blank so what we're going to do is come over to the AR kit setup copy then delete function we're going to select all of this including the comment box we're going to say control C for copy we're going to come back over here to the setup function and we're going to paste that in here okay we're going to connect this little uh, node to this node, like so. Click Compile, Save, and we're done with that. We can now get rid of this uh, setup, copy, then delete function here, just to make things less confusing. Compile, save that. The next thing you want to do is come over to the face um, portion of the uh, blueprint. We're going to select the face of our metahuman. In my case, it's Cooper Face Mesh. And you're going to want to select the blueprint. Mine's already selected, but um, in case yours is not for some reason, just select the LL Face Control Animation Blueprint underscore C here. 
We're going to compile, save, and we are done. So now what we're, what's left to do is to test it. So we're just going to bring in our metahuman, bring him into the scene. We're going to go into his face or zoom in closer to his face. And now that he's here, um, we're going to come over to our live link. I'm going to launch my phone live link application called live link face. And you're going to see this little green light here. And that means that it's working. It's reading my face. Everything's connected correctly. I'm going to select him and we're going to go over to the details. You always want to check to make sure that live link is selected to save you some time. And this little green light is here for your face. If there, if it's not there, you have some other connection issue that's outside of the uh, problems with this blueprint. We go over to the details and we're going to want to select the phone. In my case, it's I'm the general, general's iPhone. And you're going to want to select uh, LL face head here. Select that to be true. And once I simulate this, his face should uh, start to animate um, along with my face. And you're going to see some um, values pop up printed on the left side of the screen. I will explain all of this in the um, features video, which is numerous, uh, numerous features. And we'll go over that in great detail. So I'm going to go over here and select simulate. Wow, here we are. OK, we have um, quite a bit of blend shape data being streamed in here, depending on my face um, recognition and what's happening here. And so this is set up correctly and it's working correctly. Pretty painless setup in my opinion. Um, and it should be the same in your case. And thank you for watching. If you have any problems, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them as quickly as I can. Again, thank you and take care.